Hello, welcome to a short video on how to set Enterprise Vault archive size limits. There are lots of reasons why you might decide to set size limits, such as being a hosting provider and needing to bill your end users, or even just internally being able to cross-charge for the business for the storage and services that they've used. You also might only have a finite EV storage capacity, and using the limit as a check against someone taking more than their fair share of space. Sometimes when you set limits though, it means that you'll need to allow users to delete items from their archive. This has impacts on compliance, and it means that you would have to rely on journaling in order to be able to produce any information required by uh, a legal party. When you decide to set the size limits, you can set them first of all on the site level. You go to the site properties and then the archive usage limit tab. Enable it and you specify the limit in terms of a number of megabytes. Here we set it to 5 gig and you can decide then when you want users to be notified. In EV you can say to send out a notification when there's 250 meg left, or you can say 3% left, or any percentage that you like. You can also send out a notification when the actual size limit has been reached. And at the bottom here, you can see that by default, we send out a notification once a week. Archive sizes are usually bigger, and so you don't need to send them out quite as often as Exchange does. The next place that you can set the size limit is on the Vault Store. Here you go to the Archive Usage Limit tab again, and you can see it's been inherited from the site settings, 5 gig. Again, you can override it here, and I'll have a look on one of my other Vault stores here. Go to the Archive Usage tab, set it to Enabled, and let's give our VIPs 7.5 gig. The last place you can set an Archive Size Limit is on the mailbox archive itself. Here again on the archive usage limit tab you can override it and for this user let's say we're going to give them three and a half gig. That means there's three different places where you can set the archive size limit on the site level, on the vault store level, and on individual archives. In order to see where users are at in relation to their archive size limit, you can use the EV reporting tab here, and it shows you all the information related to the size of the user's archive, whether they were within the limit, what the size is, and where the size is coming from, for example, from the site. Gary here, you can see, was the user that we modified just a minute ago. He's still within his limit. And you can see the specific limit of three and a half gig. That concludes this video on archive size limits with EV. Hope you found that useful. Thank you. Bye bye.